Isabel Sanchez from our sister station Telemundo 62 spoke with families affected by this devastating condition and has more on the research that's giving them hope. You got it. Good job. It hasn't been an easy journey for Luz Morales and her son, Matthew. He's weak. He cannot talk. Um, he cannot breathe really good. Matthew suffers from a rare genetic disorder. Reach, buddy, reach. A condition linked directly to his Puerto Rican DNA. We have found that there are particular diseases where we see higher numbers of affected patients that come from Puerto Rican or Boricua ancestry, and that's why um, some people have called it the Boricua gene. Philadelphia-based Dr. Sil Martiz Gonzalez is one of the world's leading scientists in the field of the so-called Boricua gene. Dr. Ortiz, how rare is this disease? So TBCK syndrome, we think that there are less than 100 children across the world that we know of. The specific mutation that causes this condition affects the genes TBCK and Frizzle, and it's only seen in children of Puerto Rican ancestry. There was a change that has been transmitted through carriers because carriers are not affected. You can pass on the mutation and not be affected. But if two carriers have a child, that's when the disease presents itself. The mutation causes severe and permanent neurological conditions. They have trouble holding their head up when they're six months old. They have trouble learning to walk. They have trouble learning to talk. There. The reason behind this mutation, according to Dr. Ortiz, seems to be linked to a limited pool of DNA from Spanish colonizers and the geographical position of Puerto Rico as an island. We're trying to understand what could we do to bring better treatments. Now, working in labs like this one right here in Philadelphia, Dr. Ortiz and her team continue to learn more about this rare condition to give patients like Matthew and their families. You're happy? A chance of a better life. Yeah. Yeah. Isabel Sanchez, NBC 10 News. Yeah.